and today we were wedged in this middle with a little bit of high pressure. Offshore winds drove some pretty warm temperatures. Only a few places missed out. One of those, Morro Bay, where temperatures hung around in the 60s. By the way, our Surfline webcams will get you a surf forecast as well. I told you in first weather we still have some issues. Rosa was a big enough storm that still some of that energy getting here in the version of bigger waves. That's San Luis Obispo right now, fairly clear. 69 Santa Maria in San Luis, 84 Paso, 80 in Lompoc, and 76 in Santa Barbara. There you can see in the extended forecast, rain opportunities push back just a little bit from today and tomorrow into more like Wednesday. Could get here late tomorrow, but we'll talk more about that coming up. Winds currently out of the west and northwest at about 15 miles per hour. Daytime high say Santa Barbara 91, 82 Santanez, 86 Cuyama, 82 Goleta, Morro Bay 66 degrees, 87 Paso, 75 at Pismo, 85 in San Luis, 82 Santa Maria and 78 in Lompoc. And tomorrow, a dramatic cool down. Paso Robles into the middle 70s. So this offshore flow we saw this morning and temporary high pressure is going to give way quickly here. Temperatures in Santa Maria around 70 degrees in the afternoon in San Luis Obispo. Same story here with daytime highs getting up to about 70 degrees. We start to see those winds coming out of the southwest and west. We do have a system just off our coastline. This is Rosa tropical storm and this is a larger area of low pressure. A lot of this is actually at the middle levels and again right in here wedged a little dry air mass. So what this is doing, this is kicking Rosa off to our east and this system coming in has to push through that ridge of high pressure. And here's what happens. These two systems never link up. It was always a forecast concern, especially with burn areas across Santa Barbara County. Had this low and Rosa merged here in Southern California, we could have seen inches of rain coming quickly. Now, as it is, there still is a slight thunderstorm risk across the area, but the Rosa leftovers for the most part do kick off to the east. So we're really more concerned about that system off to the west and that cold front dissipates on arrival. So this is as we go through late tomorrow and early Wednesday, you can see spotty rain showers. Now inside of some of this, we could see isolated thunderstorms, which could give us a few pockets of locally heavier rain. But as this front continues to dissipate across the area, this could end up being a very, very light rain event. Models are picking up on that possibility. This is our high resolution model. You can see nothing here really indicating heavier rain at most of the sites. However, if you look Look at the range here. This half inch range could happen in some of the upper elevations and if we get a little bit of thunderstorm activity. Now still the American model is showing a possibility of picking up heavier rainfall across Santa Barbara County. But in general, I think this forecast is from light to about a half an inch. And after that, temperatures kind of start warming up again back into the 70s and even some low 80s for some. So tomorrow, a big time reduction in terms of heat because we won't get that offshore push like we saw this morning. So a lot of 70s for daytime highs, mid 70s Santa Inez Valley. Some increasing cloud cover throughout the day. Rainfall could come as early as late tomorrow night, but really more so on Wednesday morning. 64 Morro Bay, 75 at Tascadero. So it kind of starting to look like a splash and dash and then moving off. Upcoming weekend looking very good. Low 80s and Paso Rubbles with many temperatures in the 70s. And we are back right after this message.